This video is all about this, the Tenway CGO 80S. There was no use whatsoever building this bike. Just thought I'd put that on record. Yes, you too. Well impressed with it though. Looks very stylish. Doesn't look like an e-bike at all. Town bike. So it's not in the mountains, not for mountain biking, although it does have decent tyres. You could certainly do some gravel track on this. Mud guards, side stand, no gear, single gear, and belt drive with electric motor. 250 watt electric motor, so it's legal in the UK, and a very, very stylish bike. So if there's ways to describe this, I'd say it's stylish and quality. It's got lots of interesting features. It has a code to switch it on and off. Five levels of assist, lots of height adjustment, hydraulic brakes, really, really good quality. Well, it certainly looks good on the back of the camper van. Super lightweight is this one. Um, I'll put the weight below because I can't remember exactly what it was, but <laughs> when it was delivered, I thought, have they just sent me a bike and not an e-bike? Very stylish. There's no welding on the frame. All the cables are hidden. Belt driven, no oily chain, no gears. Small little 250 watt motor there. So what do you think to it, Joe? Yeah, I really like it. It's um, quite stylish. I like the handlebars being forward. Um, yeah, seat's comfortable, really comfy ride, smooth, not too chunky tyres, so a bit like an ordinary bike really for around town. It looks like an ordinary bike, doesn't it? You, yeah. you wouldn't instantly know it was an e-bike. So quiet, isn't it? You can't hear that motor at all. Not at all. And it doesn't jerk in like a, hub, no. a big hub motor. So although it's a 250 watt motor and it's got a decent sized battery in it, it, it's really really quiet and smooth and there's no messing with that chain so because it's belt driven I think that's one thing the one word as I was riding it that I would say the word that comes to mind is just smooth ride it's just it's effortless I think it's won some design awards I'm sure that in the information they sent me it won some design awards and I can see that it's super trendy in it it's classy yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I think because this is so slim compared to some of them, you don't really realise that it's an e-bike. I'd happily ride that. Yeah. I don't think it, I think it's a unisex bike. I don't think it's male, a uh, no. male or female bike in any way. This yeah. one come with the mud guards and the rack, and it comes with a stand. So you could easily use that for commuting backwards and forwards to work or the shops. But I would say with those tyres. They're not chunky tyres, but they are thick tyres. Um, and there's a bit of cushion in those tyres as well. You could certainly use it on gravel tracks. Yeah, they're thicker than a road bike tyre, but nice, chunky, right, right size really. So easy to get on and off. And you're a fan of that type of bar as well, aren't you? Yeah, I like it closer to me than stretching out. So they're sort of very round, they, they're round towards you, aren't they? Yeah. And they're very comfortable grips. Yeah, really good. Nice brakes. Yeah. To switch this on, it's quite interesting. You press the on button, and the display comes to light. And then you can change the code on this, but it comes with zero zero. And you move the cases up and down to change the numbers. Then when you get your main screen, there's all your things on the miles an hour, your trip, your distance, your mileage and your assist. And then on this side, you change up the assists. Boost is the highest power, tour, normal and eco and off. But this is a super quiet bike to ride. The power assist is easy, is easy to use as well, isn't it? Just mm. up and down on those buttons. And there's no sudden power surge with it like you get with a lot of hub motor e-bikes. There's a little bell. <laughs> it does Lights. come with reflectors, but I haven't put the reflectors on. 
but it does come with reflectors. There is one on the front and it comes with front and back lights that are wired into the main battery. All the cables are hidden so the cables are out the way. Didn't realise till then but you might not be able to see it on camera but as Joe presses the light switch quickly from one to the other it's indicators on the back so you've got flashing indicators on the back light. I love those brakes hydraulic brakes super great for this bike pedals are good they've got some uh, grip tape on there as well look should probably be wearing work shoes or shoes you use around town so a bit more grip on there rack with pannier sides on lots of adjustment in the seat it was really easy to put together and it was very well packaged there's no scratch marks or anything on it <laughs> Well packaged. The only other tool I used was a pair of secateurs because I couldn't find the scissors to cut the tar wraps. <laughs> and it didn't take long to put together. As I've said before with these bikes, they probably take about 15 minutes to put together, and the rest of the time is taking all the packaging off. Didn't you have to use the instructions? It was very straightforward. Well packaged. I'm only using the tools that come with it to put it together. That'll be the charging unit, pedals. There's my secretaires, that's the only other tool I'm using because I can't find the scissors. All looks in good condition, it was well packaged. Look at that, no chain, no oil, belt driven. And the stylish controls into the headstock. So there we have it, a 10 way city bike. Um, judge from the rest of the video that you'll see that we're really impressed with it. It's got a lockable battery by the way, so you can take your battery out and take it into the house, but it also has a socket on the side there, so you can charge it when it's in the bike. And like everything, the quality of the lock and even the key is really, really good. Charging, our experience in this, it took about four and a half to five hours to charge. It was almost flat. This come with a European plug on it, but it's only a figure of eight plug, so you can buy a standard UK plug to go on it. But it did come with a UK adapter. The, um, the range on this is supposed to be 100 kilometres. Um, and that's what it says on the website and usually what they do on those ratings is a, a very small person on the flat using little power in a nice warm country. Well in Yorkshire with me and Joe riding it we've probably got about 35-37 miles to a full battery which is good for something of this size and we've probably had it on high power most of the time as well so the range is good for a bike of this size with a small thin battery like that. Hydraulic forks, don't know if I've mentioned them. Um, brakes are really good. Hydraulic disc brakes, front and back. Um, the functionality of the controls here, it does have a code on it. So when you switch it on, you put your code in to enable the power to power the motor. But you can switch that off as well. Forgot to say that earlier on. But we're superbly impressed and uh, I think it's a really nice bike. It's not for going up mountains. <laughs> you can do gravel tracks on it. I think it's quite adequate for doing gravel tracks. It's only one gear. So they put it on full power to get up some hills, but you haven't got the gears to assist you. Um, but the design of the bike and what it's made for is really good. It's a top quality piece of kit and uh, it looks really nice. Everybody that's seen this said, oh, that's a nice bike. Is it electric? It comes with two keys. The instruction book is extremely good with this as well and it's not just about putting it together putting it together is real easy but all the functions and everything that happens with the displays in this as well and it's probably the best instruction book i've had with an e-bike any e-bike ever there's a lot more information in the description of the video and if we have received any discount codes or anything we'll add those in there um, but if you want to look at the specifications the height ratings the measurements of the bikes, the website for this company is also top quality and gives you every conceivable piece of specification you could have ever want to know and probably stuff you don't really need to know. And they are a, a very eco-friendly co uh, company as well. They're into um, using sustainable products 
and they um, also plant trees when they sell e-bikes as well and they're trying to use their company to encourage people to move off motor vehicles and to get on bikes and e-bikes like this so I'm really impressed with 10 ways across the board everything the way they've communicated with me the quality of the products the booklets the information the website top quality company highly recommend that just leaves us to announce the giveaway for the mobile phone and as usual we're recording this before the closing date so I'll put a slide in now and if that slide is you please contact us through one man and his whip at gmail.com we'll send you a message through the comments of the original video of this and we'll communicate with you and we'll get this off to you thanks for everybody who entered so there's quite a few more videos to come and quite a few more giveaways to come as well so thanks for everybody who's watching and we'll see you on the next one